Um, so we're going to enter in a value of 150. And it's going to ask us, it's going to do that HDM processing, and it's going to ask us, are these images mostly black with some light areas? And I would say, yes, they are. Um, again, we have the opportunity to repeat this step if we want to. So uh, we've now chosen all of the parameters, and we have an option, the opportunity to um, recap these parameters and the option to change any of them if we want to. Um, but we're happy with those. Um, so we're going to click yes. Um, now we're going to, uh, we are asked by the log to select where we would like this parameter file to be saved. Um, and I'd suggest just putting it inside the programs folder and clicking OK. Um, so we've now done the second stage, which is the choosing of parameters. And um, supposing, for instance, uh, either we come back to this later or um, we messed up somewhere a bit later on. So I'm going to actually quit the macro for now. And I'm going to rerun it. Um, you don't have to do this. It's just to demonstrate how we can use that parameter file that we've now saved. So we're going to run Twombly again. It's asked us to maximize the log. Do we have a pre-existing parameter file? Well, now we do. Um, so that's inside programs. These are the parameter values we just chose before. And we can come back to this at any time. We're going to open that. It's just going to ask us again, are the matrix fibers dark on a light background? And they are. So we're going to jump straight from step 0 to step 10, which is where we're no longer looking at the test set of files, but the, um, all of our other files. So we're going to select all of our eligible files. Oh, actually, that's a very important point. We are now inside the tutorial, so we need to look at original files inside the tutorial. We're going to click on our eligible directory. Um, we need to select an output directory where the masks will be saved. So we're going to click on tutorial and masks. And we're going to be asked to choose an output directory for HDM. And finally, we're going to be asked to choose the animal properties XML folder. Now that is inside programs in here. And you don't need to open this or do anything with it, just to select it. Um, you have a final chance to recap those directories and change anything where you might have made a mistake. And you're asked if they're all correct, and they are. So we've now chosen everything that we need to do. And in this third stage, Twombly is just going to automatically derive all of the metrics. So you can see what's happening now. It's entering the animorph stage where it's deriving some of those metrics. And we don't worry about all of this. This could take um, a couple of minutes. Um, so uh, I'm just going to pause here um, and skip ahead to the end of the analysis. Animorph has now run. That took about two minutes to, to process it, those images. Um, and the whole of Twombly has now run. So if we go back to our output, we go to the Twombly folder. We can look in the masks folder, which now is full of masks. We have some of the results inside this animal folder here. We have the HDM results inside the HDM directory. And these two uh, CSV folders combined give us our metrics. So we have um, each file name and information on each of the metrics uh, described in the documentation and in the manuscript. And with these metrics, we can then start to do things like um, regression analysis and start to compare quantification between matrix patterns. And really, um, this is uh, a first go, but our, our hope is that people will be able to use this pipeline 
on all kinds of data that, um, and all kinds of images that have been stained to extracellular matrix and to start to really explore how the spatial structure of the matrix and um, the architecture of the matrix could be indicative of uh, different things. So, for instance, in the context of cancer, we might find that some of these metrics are actually really important for things like cancer prog progression. So, just as a last thought, um, we've now gotten through our tutorial and we're happy with how Twombly works, um, but we'd like to have a go with some of our own images. Um, now, just got two example images here, and you can see that these are really large files, and generally Fiji is going to struggle with something like this. But if we just open it up here, we see we've got a very, very large file. In addition to that, um, this is um, a uh, image of a prostate, and some areas of this are cancerous, and some of them, some areas are not. We might only be interested in actually analysing specific areas. If this is the case, um, there is also a another plugin inside the Twombly folder. So if we go to plugins, macros, run, and we have this additional plugin called cropping images, uh, which kind of does what it says on the tin. Again, we're asked to maximise the log. The, um, we're asked to select an input folder, so let's just say in our desktop it was in images. Um, in fact, if we go to if we go to the images folder, we're going to select some cropped regions. We're going to make a new folder where those cropped regions can be saved. So in the log, in the in the plugin, we we're asked to select raw images folder, so that's here, and we're asked to select a place where the output cropped images will be saved, so we're going to save them here. Now the image is going to open, you're going to be asked if, you're, if you are selecting a region to keep or a region to delete. So let's say in this image, um, let's say we're going to just keep some regions. So we're going to use this freehand tool to select a region. So maybe we're interested in this region here. Um, and you're going to click Control T or Command T if you're using a Mac. And you can see it that that region of interest has now been added to the region of interest manager. Uh, let's say we're interested in another region too, and we're going to press Control T, and that's also going to add to this region of interest manager. And okay, we're happy with that, so we're going to click OK. We're then given the option of whether or not we want to save these regions of interest as separate files or as one single file. Um, so let's say we do want to save them as separate files for now. <coughs> And that's all just saving. And what you'll end up with is those cropped regions being saved in this new directory. And once we've gone through all of the uh, all of our images and cropped them down, we can then copy these images into Twombly. So we're no longer doing the tutorial, and we're going to put those original files, um, we've had a look, we know that they are good quality, so we're going to put them in the eligible folder. And we're then ready to, in due course, run the Twombly pipeline on these images, uh, where masks can be saved here and HDM can be saved in here. Um, so that's uh, the end of the tutorial. Um, I hope it's been interesting and informative. If you have any questions, um, please uh, contact us. Uh, our contact details are in the manuscript. Um, and this is really a work in progress. Our hope, hope is that um, the community, people who are interested in matrix patterns, can really um, feedback with us and tell us um, how they're getting on with the software 
and also um, findings that they come across and what metrics are important to them. Um, so that's all for now, um, and thank you for listening.